Welcome Sagittarius. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node. All right. So if you have Sagittarius uh, anywhere in those areas, you can utilize this video. All right. So this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take it how it applies. Okay. Um, this could be a cross watchers energy this could be your energy this could be someone's energy around you okay so take what applies and what does not just let it fly okay if this message does happen to resonate with you great all right make sure to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to comment and share with your family and your friends all right i, I don't know if i said it but newbies i need y'all to go ahead and click that bell to subscribe yes all right, so we're going to try to keep this going. I've already pre-shuffled, but I'm going to shuffle up just a little more so you guys can see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so let's talk Sagittarius. Let's see what messages we have for you guys. What message is there for my Sagittarius, please? What messages do you have for the Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords, okay? All right, are you stuck in the past? You're thinking about something from the past. You're not trying to get rain, uh... You're not trying to get some game ran on you or something like that. You want success. For sure, for sure. I see you guys wanting to, you know, talk about success here. But I feel like you're worried about something from the past. You don't want to get lied to or, or manipulated or tricked. All right, so let's see. We got the King of Wands, the Three of Swords, Death, Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, Strength, Four of Pentacles, Star, Queen of Swords, and the Devil here. I feel like you're still holding on to something from your past. It's either something or someone. We got the Death card here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Strength is Leo's energy. I see Capricorn and Aquarius energy here as well. So, I'm getting that somebody could have definitely be involved in a third-party situation. You know, I really don't want to put that out there immediately. But, you know, I got somebody who may be doing a little bit of playing here. Okay, so let's see. Why is the, um, let's talk about this King of Wands energy, which is you guys' energy. Let's see what, what messages, what, you know, extra messages we have here. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Four of Wands. Someone here could be married. And like I said, someone here could be sneaking around. Someone here could be being sneaky. Now with that Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands, the devil here. Some of you are letting something go from the past. Okay, you want to talk to this person, you want to communicate with this person, you want this person to open up to you, um, you, you want progression with this person. For some of you, this someone here is already in something, okay, somebody here is already in a relationship, someone here could be possibly married, um, tell me more about this four of wands here. King of swords. And why do we keep getting this Ten of Swords here at the bottom here? King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something doesn't make sense to you. You want clarity. You want the truth about a situation. Somebody here or a situation just like is in the air for you. Um, you haven't gained any clarity. You're trying to get the truth about something. You're trying to get the truth about something. 
You're trying to get the truth about it, whether or not someone is in a relationship. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Look at this. The Ace of Swords wanted to jump out, but there's too many other cards behind it that wanted to jump out too. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe some of somebody here is married, but they behave single. I feel like you may have saw something or or um, some type of shocking truth was revealed. I'm getting also, you could be looking back at a situation with regrets. Um, you may have thought something was, was something that it really wasn't, okay? Now, with the Six of Wands and the Judgment, Judgment could be a second chance, but this is also a wake-up call as well. Somebody here, you may have decided to slow down um, with expressing your emotions in this situation because I feel like some of y'all found out some news. I feel like someone here could have found out that they're, they are a part of a third party possibly. Tell me more about this death card here. The Magician. Something has did not manifest here. And I feel like for some of you, um, somebody is extremely in love here. Somebody's head over heels for an empress and the lovers. This could be a Gemini or a Taurus or a Libra, um, where they carry this empress energy. This could be the, the other person. Now, the lovers is a decision between two people. So you may not want to make a decision between you and another person. Why is the Three of Swords here? Tell me why the Three of Swords is here. Tell me why the Three of Swords is here. Page of Cups. So the challenge is, you may feel like you think someone owes you an apology of some sort. Because I'm telling you, somebody has a husband or a wife or something here. Somebody has a sugar daddy or a sugar mama or something. Because we got the emperor, the ten of pentacles, queen of pentacles, six of pentacles. Somebody was given some, some money or something like that. And somebody has some type of um, exchange here. I'm seeing as well. Could be with the Leo. But something, something happened. There was an ending. There was some ending. But I'm seeing like you guys aren't too really focused on that. You want, you want to connect. You want to get closer to this person. Nine of cups, two of cups. You look at this person. You look, you admire this person. You admire this person. You admire this person. Somebody feels that they aren't doing enough. Two of Swords and the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, yep. Somebody feels that they aren't doing enough Four of Cups. I feel like somebody here is really admiring um, either you or you're extremely admiring somebody else. But what if this person is giving you some type of drive, some type of push. Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot could be a Cancer. Some somebody, This person is giving you some type of push or drive, driving you. Um, could be crazy. Like, not literally like, oh my God, out in the street doing some silly stuff. But like, this person just tickles your fancy. And this person just is the, the cherry on top of the ice cream. Okay, like, they do it for you. Okay, so why tell me more about the Knight of Wands here. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. The lovers, yeah. There's a love affair going on here. The lovers and the Knight of Wands. There's this on again, off again, um, here, then there. This person could, this could be this person's energy or this could be your energy. You know, it's like a temporary thing, like it's there, then it's, you know, it sizzles out fast. There's a secret relationship, didn't I say it? There's a secret, a hidden relationship. The Empress, Two of Cups, the Moon. Someone could definitely be married, though. Or they're already in some type of commitment. They're hiding this from their partner. 
Why is the lovers here? Could be a Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles. It could be like some type of beneficial, you know, relationship. You know, you give me what I want, you get what you want type of relationship. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? We got the Sun. Could be dealing with the Leo. Why is the Sun card here? Tell me more about the Sun. Wheel of Fortune. All right. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Temperance. You guys, it's energy. So maybe you're waiting for things to change or waiting for some type of shift to happen here in the past. I'm getting wait and see if someone's going to act different. What's the Ace of Wands here? After they get what they want. Okay, so I'm getting like waiting to see if, some, if this person is going to act different. It's like they get what they want, then they, uh, they leave with the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? And then you're possibly left with feeling regrets or feeling, uh, you know, kind of lonely or ghosted. Okay, so that was past energy. Let's move ahead to future energy. We got the strength card here. Leo's energy. Oh, yeah. So you have the courage to speak up. It looks like you're going to have the courage to speak up. Speak your truth. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Cups. All right, so I'm getting like you get you get some type of wish fulfillment. <laughs> Why is the Nine of Cups here? Maybe you want to see if this person is going to uh, what this person is going to say. But I just keep getting look at this: the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I feel like. Y'all are waking up about a situation. The four of swords and the judgment is somebody who was sleeping, but now they up now. So somebody has risen from their slumber of, you know, just not understanding what's going on in the situation. Somebody here is definitely, um, you know, unaware. Or if you're unaware, you're aware now. Okay. Seven of swords and ten of cups. This is definitely some somebody, you know, being sneaky. Somebody being sneaky. Somebody being sneaky. Feel like you want some clarity. You want this person to toughen up and give you clarity. We got the four of pentacles. I feel like you're holding back because of this. Yeah, I feel like you want to come, you want to charge full ahead, but you're holding back. I feel like you may have feel like you've invested a lot. You've already given enough. Or maybe you feel like some of you may feel like, you know, some of you have invested enough. Some of you guys feel like maybe you haven't given this person enough. Um, I feel like somebody here, I'm not going to say gold digger, but somebody here is extremely like they like to find their things. Okay. They like finer things. So that keeps you, that holds you back from, uh, Pressing or charging straight ahead. Yeah, see, <laughs> you want to you wanna charge full force ahead to this person, but you're holding back. You're holding back because possibly you're working on your finances. Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so this person over here that you're dealing with, they're still keeping hope. Oh, wow. Let me correct myself. <laughs> They are feeling, I'm going to be honest with y'all now. Y'all know I'm going to tell y'all the truth. This person over here has hope that you will walk away. So maybe they're coming at you like, oh, I want this or I want that. Okay, if you can't do this or you can't do that, then, you know, there's not going to be uh, us. 
they they're feeling like they're getting tired of being patient with you they may feel like something that you're offering them is isn't worth it you may be offering them a lot of emotional support and this that's not the type of support that they want so maybe they're hoping that you walk away why tell me more about the eight of cups yeah five of swords this person is kind of pissed um they may ghost you They may ghost you. Why's the Queen of Swords? I feel like you're walking on eggshells too. Um, with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Maybe you're afraid of this person's reaction or, or what they are going to say. I feel like you're kind of you're extremely guarded. Not kind of guarded, but extremely guarded. But with this outcome being the devil here, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. But let's see what's... Tell me more. Tell me more about this devil. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more. You've been putting in a lot of work. I feel like you've been trying to get this person to... Um, you've been trying to hook this person. Or this person trying to hook you, vice versa. Okay? Vice versa. You've been putting in a lot of effort. I feel like there's an obsession here. I feel like there's an addiction. Maybe you're trying to get this person addicted to you. Um, yeah, we got the emperor. Somebody here could be extremely controlling. Maybe uh, some of you are trying too hard to control this situation. Some of y'all are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You, I feel like you thought that this person, I feel I'm getting like there's a lot of love here though. I feel like you think about this. Some of y'all are really obsessed with this person. Like this person, I'm telling you, like I'm getting like, some of y'all are extremely addicted to this person or this person extremely addicted to you. But I'm getting in that there's lots of love here. There's lots of love. Like, there's a lot of love here. But somebody's not doing the right thing. Somebody's not doing the right thing. Or somebody is upset uh, here. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Five of Wands. You don't want to make this person mad. Why's the Five of Wands? You're trying to wait and see if this person is going to offer you something. Because um, you don't want to come off as being too forward. So you're waiting to see if this person is going to offer you something. But somebody here is resisting. They're resisting. They're resisting. Um, I don't see them budging easily. I don't see them budging, budging easily. Okay, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. This was interesting. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Is this your energy? Is this a partner's energy? Is somebody around you? Y'all let me know what's going on. If you're new, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, guys. If you're interested in the personal, all of that information is below. As well, guys, check out my website. All right, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.